Okay, so before we begin, today is June 29, 2015. Just finished watching the Fallen Skies Season 5 premiere. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. Um, there's not going to be any spoilers given out, so don't worry about that. I just want to say it's supposed to be the last and final season and it just seems as if every single episode, ever since I'd say like maybe the season two finale, the writing has just went to shit. I, I just, I, I can't, I, I, I can't put it into words, like how frustrated I am right now. Like, here's my thing, man. When when you get linked up to the Asfini, when you, when you become... One of their, I don't know, um, puppets, you know, when they, when they use you for, for communication. When you went through that whole process and we, and we saw how a normal human being becomes like a, a super human being, if you will. They become more powerful, more agile, faster, smarter. When you take someone like that, and you let them just get ripped in half without a fight just for the sake of of you know making fallen skies the final season um i don't know be the goriest and in um in in display rage it it's 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 such a cop out and it's so disrespectful to the characters man like i i don't even that's what i'm i don't even know what to really say man I mean, I, I, I saw this coming a, a mile away. I'll be honest. I saw it coming a mile away. I even said it as the, sh as the show started progressing. As soon as I saw, as soon as I saw the main character, okay? The one that usually stands for something noble. The one that, how do you want to say it? After, after all of the crazy stuff that we've seen happen in that show, he's the only one that normally, usually, he says, you know what? Let's think about this. Let's have a, a clear level head. Let's think about what's going on. After all of that, when when I saw when I saw him um pick up that gun, okay, and his son is sitting right in front of him, and it just doesn't make any sense why they did that. But his son is sitting in front of him. Tom Mason pulls out a a gun and he shoots. Shoots one of the aliens in the head. Just point blank range. Shoots him in the head. Blows his goddamn brains out. Then he drops on the floor. He falls on the floor. Then he says, I'm not afraid of you. And then pops him. Unloads the clip. Unloads the clip inside of this alien, man. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. And this is what he said. He said, oh, well, my son, he'll only have a headache for a little while. So all of all of your, all of, I don't know, all of your your your, your Tom Mason characteristics and traits everything that made tom mason such a great television character even though yeah you're frustrated as hell at some of the times that tom didn't take action and a lot of people died but at least we had this like american dream this american hero man it it meant something that tom wouldn't cross and you know what i guess I, i'm starting to understand why and how Superman, some super Superman uh, fans felt after Man of Steel. I, I think I'm starting to understand, you know, or, or, or I guess feel how you felt during Man of Steel. Even though, I mean, I, I thought Man of Steel was perfect. But I, I think it's just me seeing Tom Mason as this killer now. This, this incredible Hulk to where he's raging and you have to get mad. You don't have to get just oh, a little bit mad. You, you got to rage and you got to let the rage out. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I, I know that the events, what what took place during this this uh, season premiere, had nothing to do with with the Tom Mason that I know. And I, I don't know. I'm trying to find the words, man, that can that can describe this. Mostly just frustrating. And disappointing. 
And and it, I just I don't I don't know, man. I, I'm not gonna continue on with uh, Fallen Skies, man. I'm not gonna I'm not entertaining it. I'm done. I'm actually pulling out, man. And I, you know, you know, I, I ended up doing this before, man. And like season, I, I think it was season three, episode five or four. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm out of here. And I, I got to do it again. I got to do it. Big, I got to do it again. I can't. I can't sit there and um, and watch and participate in something and support something that's just that's just horrible, man. You know, it was like you know, I don't know. Maybe they wasted their budget on on uh, horrible, ridiculously horrible CGI graphics, blowing up trees. You know, blowing up bodies. Putting C4 on a guy and then all of a sudden, oh, the C4 won't go off, but shoot the fucking tree. Shoot the explosive. Oh, yeah, that's going to fucking work. Whatever. I just, I don't know, man. It's just lazy to me, and that's I think that's what gets me the most. Man. Because, they, you know, there's such great television on right now. With Bates Motel, Killjoys, Orphan Black... I mean, hell, even Orange is the New Black. Even this this last season, which wasn't that good, is at, at least they're still entertaining television. Hannibal, even though that's getting canceled. I mean, there's so much great television on. And then we get stuck with, with this Fallen Skies, this final season of Fallen Skies, which pisses me off because it's like, yo, this is the final season. This is when the writers, you pull your head out your ass. Because I'm not saying that, that Fallen Skies could be saved. On TNT. I mean, they, they've already said it's over with. But if season five is a success, meaning that it's a fucking good season, then maybe Netflix or somebody else will pick up the show. But I digress, man. I don't want to sit here the whole day and start talking about this bullshit. I'm done. I'm out of here. I quit.